So it says, what is the square root of 256? So the square root of 256. Let me redraw this. And I'm, I'm going to assume that they're going to look for uh, exact values here. Um, so square root of 256. What is the square root of 256? So what we can do first is, again, when we're breaking up this radical, if we don't know what the square is, what we can do is we can simply just divide, or we can find what a factor is of 256, right? In this case, it's an even number, so I'm going to take out 2 first here. So this will equal root 2 times root whatever 256 divided by 2 is. So 256 divided by 2 is 128. So 128. So now what we can do is we can do the exact same thing and we can take this out as well, right? So let me take 128 out. Let me take another root 2 times root 2 times. So I'm dividing again 2 by 128 here. 128 divided by 2 here is 64. That's great. This here is 64. And I know I can now simplify kind of these two terms, right? Root 2 times root 2 obviously equals simply just 2, right? So I have 2 times root 64. And now it's actually it actually looks very, very easy, right? I actually know the square root of 64, right? If you if you know from your um, kind of your 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 squared multiple your squared uh, numbers here, uh, eight squared here is 64. So eight squared, if I know that, um, I know that if I know that eight squared equals 64, therefore the 60 root of 64 equals eight, right? So this is simply just this is equal to 2 times 8 here, right? Because I know that root 64 equals 8. Therefore, my answer here is 16. So 256, the square root of 256 here is 16 here. But what if I didn't know the square root of 64 was 8? What you could do is, again, you can do the exact same thing here. And you can do 2 root 64. So, I, again, I can separate 64 again into two parts here. So I would have, again, 2 times root 2 times, and then whatever 64 divided by 2 is, which I believe is 32. And then I, would I can do the exact same thing again. I have 2 times root 2 times root 2, and then we get root of 18. Or sorry, 16. 16 here. This would be 16. And this would equal just simply 2 times 2 times 2, right? Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is uh, root 2 times root 16, and by then you would know that it's 4 times root 16, and this is simply just 4 times 4, which is 16. So again, this here is the square root of uh, 256 is simply just 16. So it's a perfect square, which is very, very nice to us. So this here is 16. So how, would they, how did they solve this? So taking the square root of the number is exactly the opposite of taking the square of the number. That's good. Um, and then what they do is the given number 256 is a perfect square. The perfect square is a number whose square root gives a whole number. Um, so this here is, it's actually plus or minus 16 um, if you want to be really specific. So let me just write that down because it's actually plus or minus uh, 16 here. So here's plus minus 16. That's good. Um, and then they did some other stuff here. So this solution is correct. A solution is correct. Good analysis here. So again, they have a perfect square. So this is actually a very easy question to solve. It's actually a perfect square here.